Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video. So in this one, we're going to be going over Facebook ads targeting. When it comes to targeting, one of the most popular questions or a couple of popular questions really are, number one, um, what sort of audience size should I be targeting? And number two is how many interests? So that's what we're gonna be covering in this video. Um, and in my opinion then, it comes down to, it's definitely a case of quality over quantity. Some of my best performing ad sets have come from tags in audience sizes of around 500K, if not smaller. And I believe this to be the case purely because I would much rather, or it makes sense then, to show your ad to an audience size of say 200K, of which the majority of people are interested in your product, rather than show your ad to say an audience size of say three, five million people, of which a very small percentage of people will actually be interested in it. If you think about it, if you've got a small budget on Facebook and you go off straight away without maturing your pixel, without building up that data, um, into an audience size of say three million people, then a very small percentage of that audience is actually gonna be interested in your product. So if you're spending $5 or $10 per day, then it's gonna be pure luck if you actually come across somebody who's interested in your product and actually buys it, or at least you're gonna to struggle to have consistent results. So that's the top of the video then, that's what we're gonna be covering. Um, thanks very much for tuning in, I hope you enjoy it, and let's get straight into it. So first things first then, you need to understand what it actually means to target an interest on Facebook and who is actually included in that audience. So everybody should do this exercise, um, head over to your Facebook newsfeed, um, right click, top right, um, and then go across to your settings. We're gonna be looking at ads down here on the left, um, towards the bottom left corner. Um, and it's going, when it finally loads up, it's going to take you to the section of essentially what interests you're related to. So click on your interests and it's gonna open up this box here and um, just to kind of show you through it then, there's a few different categories across the top and tabs. Um, and what I want you to do is simply just choose any random one. So let's go for hobbies and activities. Um, we're gonna click see more and just open these up. And essentially what these are then are interests that I'm related to. So if somebody was to target textile, I would be included in that audience. Even though I have absolutely no interest or little to no interest in textiles, um, if somebody was to target that as an interest, so just to give you an example then, if we head across to Audience Insights and we put textile into here, then we can see that the audience size is 30 to 35 million people. And that includes me, even though I have absolutely little to no interest in textiles. So to pick that as a sole interest to target, to try and sell a product within that um, interest, then you're gonna be showing it to a lot of people like me who aren't even interested in textiles. So essentially what this means then is that if you're targeting single interests alone, then the chances are you're gonna be wasting a lot of your budget showing your ads to people who aren't interested in it at all. I recommend everybody do this exercise because it's easy for me to sit here, but if you go through your own interests that you're linked to, then you'll be looking at some of them in the same way, thinking I have absolutely no interest in them, why am I linked to them? Um, just in case you are wondering if you kind of like hover your mouse over them, then it will tell you why you are linked to those particular interests. Um, just as kind of like a side note, a side tip, um, a good way to do product research is if you have a brand new Facebook profile or create one that's purely gonna be used for product research, um, you can make sure you're only linked to interests which are gonna be related to dropshipping and therefore you're gonna see a ton of dropshipping ads um, and nothing but dropshipping products. If you wanna unlink yourself, for example, to a certain interest, it's dead easy to do. Um, so for whatever reason, I'm linked to nail fast, now you just remove it. And therefore anybody targeting that particular interest, I'm not going to potentially see their ad. So with all that being said then, how do we avoid targeting people who aren't gonna be interested in your product. One really easy method is called flex targeting. So just to illustrate how this works is that, so if we try and picture who our ideal customer is going to be, it needs to be somebody who's super passionate about that particular niche and therefore they're gonna be more interested in our product. So somebody who's super passionate about something, they're going to be linked to more interests within that niche, for example. So if we just go back to my ad preferences, there's only one particular interest on here that's linked to textiles. So for somebody to eliminate tags in people who aren't really interested, what they would do is they would select more than one interest in in the textile niche and then therefore it's going to eliminate people like me hopefully that makes sense so the more interests that you target the more times you flex down 
then the more people you're eliminating from your audience and the higher quality it's going to be. Because think about it, somebody who's super passionate about dogs and owns dogs, the chances are they spend a lot of time within the dog niche on Facebook, clicking on different ads, clicking on different posts, etc. So they're going to be linked. If they go onto their ad preferences, the chances are there's going to be maybe say half a dozen, if not a dozen interests in which they're going to be linked to. If you compare that against the average Joe who just clicks on the um, every now and again clicks on a post about dogs or an ad about dogs, they're only going to be linked to say two or three different interests. So out of those two customers then, who's more passionate and who's more likely to buy your product? It's the first one that's actually linked to say half a dozen interests, if not a dozen. What I'm trying to say then, and it might seem like I'm going over this time and time again, but trust me, once you understand this, it will completely change the performance of your Facebook ads. You need to be targeting the people who are the most passionate about your particular niche and the way to do that then is to find the people who are connected to the most interests because somebody who isn't passionate about dogs isn't going to be connected to say six different interests within the dog niche the more interests you can target without sacrificing the audience size too much then the better the more passionate and the higher quality that particular audience is going to be and the better your conversion rate is going to be there's something else i want to show you too a lot of people think that if they're tagged in a particular word or a particular interest it means they're only tagged in those particular people so if I just go on to let's try family and relationships and I am linked to the interest of wife so some people will make the mistake of tagged in this interest thinking that they're only tagged in wives whereas you can clearly see I'm not a wife or hopefully you can clearly see that um, so by tagged in that you are going to be including a lot of people like me who just aren't related to that interest whatsoever so this is why it's critical that you flex target your interests now what does this actually look like then in practice within your ad manager um, just to touch on a point in fact a lot of people might be watching this thinking if you go super specific on your potential reach then will that affect your CPMs and it can it can increase your CPMs but CPM is your cost per 1000 impressions and essentially what that's based on is how suitable your ad is for your audience think of it from Facebook's eyes they want good user they want a good user experience so what they want to do is essentially give preferential reach to the ads that are getting better engagement because engagement shows a better user experience. It shows people are actually interested. So if you are, if your CPMs are super high, then instead of perhaps you can make your audience a bit broader if you want to, but something else you can do is focus on your actual ad copy itself and try and increase engagement because trust me that will bring down your cpms as well one way to double check this as well is if you double check it against your quality ranking if you've got a poor quality ranking then that obviously shows that will be a condition of why your cpms are so high too if you can increase that and actually get it too high then that will bring down your cpms so how does this actually look like in practice then? What you wanna do is head over to the detail tags and box and you wanna start with the biggest interest at the top and then work your way down because if you start too small too quickly, then it can be def it can be pretty difficult to get that potential reach up to a decent size. So for example, then I've spoken about dog niche quite um, a lot. If I just put dogs in here, um, it's a pretty huge interest as we can see. Um, the potential reach hasn't gone down whatsoever. It's still 44 million people. So that's gonna include a ton of people who don't own a dog and therefore probably won't be interested in our dog product. So what we wanna do then is we wanna make sure that we narrow the audience. Um, if you've done your interest research, if you want me to cover that in a different video, actually um, comment part two or um, interest research or something like that in the comment section, I can do a video on how to find interests. But just in case you're not sure, what you can do is you can put dogs in here. Um, go to interests and then this will open up the suggestions box and Facebook will give you ideas of different interests Now some of these will be better than others if you want me to cover that in the video Make sure you let me know in the comment section below So what we want to do now then is just go down try and find the interests which are the largest So we could go for dog training it is pretty massive if we put that in there and then now remove the dogs in theory that should reduce our potential reach which it has it's gone down to 27 million which is a good sign 27 million is obviously super broad especially if this is the initial ad you're going to be running so what we can do is just go for suggestions find something else that's pretty big so dog behavior and dog walking so if we go narrow further and put dog walking in here uh, make sure you pick the correct one that's now taken it down to 25 million, which again is still um, super broad. The next one was, I completely forgot. Let's go suggestions, dog training we've got, dog behavior, let's try that one. 
dog behavior and see what it's done. It's done nothing. This potential reach is still 24 million. It's because we've got this ticked. If we untick this, um, it's down to 1.8 million. Now, in, in reference to this box, I don't want to spend too much time on it. Basically, um, it's one of it's, I tend to use it for scaling only because you can see the difference it does to your potential reach. Once you've got an ad set that's performing really well at a small audience size, then it's like a green light to basically say to Facebook, go out there and now choose people who are have already converted similarly within this ad set, if that makes sense. I can do a video on that topic if you want me to at a later date. Um, so let's go narrow further and go for, let's have a look at, let's go for dog toy. Obviously dog toy is related to dog owners. Um, it's not really many people that buy dog toys unless they actually own a dog. 1.3 million, so it's still pretty high. Um, let's go for something a bit smaller to try and bring this audience size down. Um, let's try, let's just see what comes up. Trainer, walker, handler, these all drop tower tools, which are super small. Walking, loving, um, grooming, companion dog, 6 million. Let's try that. And that's taken that potential reach down to 320,000, which in my eyes is pretty ideal. So as you can see, it's quite extensive. Like there's a ton of interests we're targeting there. But if you think about it, how many people are there going to be out there that don't own a dog or aren't super passionate about dogs and yet they'll be included in every single one of these interests. There's not gonna be that many people. So what that basically says is that by tags in this particular audience that the majority of those people within this 320,000 are actually going to be super interested in dogs if not actually own dogs themselves and therefore more likely to buy our product so hopefully that makes sense any questions whatsoever please do make sure you ask them um, because trust me this will completely change the way you look at Facebook it will completely change your results for the better um, so yeah any questions at all just comment them below I do read every single comment um, and with that being said if you enjoyed the video please do let me know hit that like button i can do more videos on facebook ads if you want part two where i build on this on how to actually find the interest then please do let me know about that as well um with that being said then let's get into announcing the winner of the one-to-one -one call from my previous video so here we are in the previous video a big thank you to everybody who watched it and entered the competition um so anyway i'm going to take the url head over to our random comment picker and we're very nearly at 10,000 subs. So if you are watching this and you haven't subscribed yet, please do four weekly chances, if not anything, to win a call. And the winner of the previous video is WA. So thank you very much for your comment. Hit me up on Instagram, we can get that call arranged. And guys, if you do just wanna book a call right away and get straight down to business, you can actually do so. Um, just make sure you check out the links in the video below. So that being said, guys, thanks very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this one and uh, I'll see you in the next one.